Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for selecting on my video. ECMO Teen Adult, a cannulation mannequin by Narciso Gonzalez. I hope you do enjoy the build. And if you have any questions afterwards, please feel free to email me at the email below. Thank you. This ECMO creation started at the heart of a perfusionist, very odd request. After an encounter with a surgeon that wished for a teen size mannequin to practice on, knowing none were available at the time. In this request being dreamt up was what led to a snowball effect of a wants list. Pumps, multiple sites, line replacement items, battery powered. The list just kept getting longer and longer. All those wants were eventually hit with a reality of questions. How cheap do you need it to be? Cheap. So you want me to make that out of fairy dust and magic? Yeah. And then make sure you get your parts real easy. And then you want to clean the fairy dust off and take it to lunch. Yeah, okay. Nevertheless, a fire was lit and an idea was born. With that spark, it was time to gather our equipment. Silicone hoses, check. Suturable veins, check. Battery power, check. Water tank reservoirs, check. Water pumps, check. On all switches, check. Mannequin encapsulation, check, check. This is the backing plate of the mannequin that all the parts will be attached to. The Velcro you see and the random notches are what will hold everything down and the lower pumps are attached via metric screws and nuts. Next up, all the lines and water reservoirs are installed. The plastic holders you see beneath these reservoirs are used to angle them to give a simple gravity pressure to the fluids they will hold later on. Here is all the reservoirs filled, all lines have been primed, and the jugular site's suturable vein has been installed. With the lines primed, it is best to run the circuits to leak test. The paper towel you see is proof even after numerous runs, a leak can arise, something you do not want happening during a possible ECMO activation test. After the lines are leak proof below, back to the jugular site to install, test, and run power on and off. As you can or can't hear, the pumps can vary in sound, so finding ones that you're comfortable with will lie on your build. One of the main details that had to be included for this build was the ability of line replacement cannulation sites. This is done via start-stop quick disconnect connectors. Though an awesome feature, just one male and one female connector can eat into a budget one $20 bill at a time. Doing the math, two per cannulation site can really add up. Having three separate pumps, reservoirs, and circuits means you can cannulate any site without interfering with another, yet still connect cannulation lines coming from the ECMO pump as you would do normally. This is a quick snapshot of the pumps circulating the fluids, yet still independent from one another while operating. All quick disconnects are not created equal. These are the ones that only flow when connected, thus giving the cannulating sites that true line replacement we were looking for. All tested in prime, that's when the top portions can be added. As you can see, those notches I mentioned earlier are now coming into play using the Velcro to secure the two encapsulation pieces together. This is also a great chance to peek inside to make sure our little reservoirs and lines are all tucked in and nothing has been pinched by the top torso's introduction. The lower cannulation sites can then be installed. If you are wondering what that metal piece is sticking out of the side, well that is the holder aspect needed in the design. While applying pressure to cut your cannulation sites, the silicone will get pushed around or through if not held by something. 
This was a very basic horseshoe shaped piece of aluminum that just clips in, still allowing for the sights to be line replaceable. Lastly, the top cannulation sight is to be installed. I made this one particularly different to help better visualize the suturable veins running through the silicone sights. It still has the same build as the others, just clear for this particular reason. It also has the horseshoe shaped clip installed underneath to keep it from moving around when cannulation happens. All sealed up and powered on, this mannequin is ready for cannulation. Once finished, do remember everything minus the sights are reusable and cleanable if necessary. There are upfront costs to get started, but if the sights are the only thing being replaced, costs should go way down for your consumables. All in all, after the PC reservoirs, the fish tank water pumps, the department store torso, a plexiglass sheet, mini 12 volt battery, two super cool power switches, some expensive quick disconnects, the silicone usage, and one ECMO Primey bag for lines, which was a freebie, might I add. I did still go over budget, but it was still a build of a lifetime and very enjoyable. If any questions about the build, please feel free to contact me at the email on the screen. Take care and stay safe out there. Cheers.